Hey guys, today you will learn how to create a one-page HTML responsive template using Bootstrap for Alpha. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to set up Bootstrap and use some of the new features added in this new release of Bootstrap. The first thing we need to do is to download Bootstrap for Alpha. Go ahead and type this URL on your browser and on the source files section, download the source files. At the time of this recording, the compiled version of Bootstrap for Alpha is not yet available. While downloading, let's create our project folder. I'm inside my SAM folder, so I'll create a folder called B4 Alpha. And inside this project folder, I'll create three additional folder, a CSS folder for our style sheets, the JS folder for JavaScripts, and IMG folder for our images and also we'll create the uh, index.html file once downloaded unzip the compress file and then inside this folder go to distribution folder and copy bootstrap.mean.css and paste it to CSS folder for our project file and then for the JS folder, we'll copy bootstrap.mean.css and paste it on our JS folder project file. I also created a custom.css here for our customization later on. Open your HTML file and start with some basic markup. Our HTML document will begin with HTML5 doc type to specify which language and version our document is using. Then on our head section, we can place all our meta information including meta for responsive, internet explorer rendering mode, and other. We can place then all our CSS next, which includes bootstrap.mean.css, custom.css, which is a custom file that we created, Google Fonts, and Font Awesome CDN link for our icons. For performance purposes, we will place the JavaScript files at the bottom of the document, just before the closing body tag. So that will include our jQuery.mean.js, which is a Google hosted library link, and bootstrap.mean.js. Next, let's go over with our main markup. We will wrap everything here with a class wrapper and then divide its sections using HTML5 section tags. We will then set up specific classes to our sections. For our about us section, we will set the about class, features class for our features section, contact class for our contact us section, and footer class for our footer. The next thing that we need to do then is to set up the bootstraps container class to wrap elements and contain its grid system. We will be using a fixed container here. This means that as the before change, its width remains intact until it meets a certain breakpoints. We will skip the header for our container rows and column classes since we're going to set up some Jumbotron class and create a little bit parallax effects on it later on. Then we will set up the row class to wrap up column and create columns to contain the content of its section. Remember that Bootstrap's grid system works with 12 scale columns. So for each row, there will be a complete 12 scale columns divided, depending on the sizes. Jumbotron are used to emphasize marketing messages and call to action. For our header section, we're going to use a Jumbotron. To create a Jumbotron, you just need to add a Jumbotron class inside a div element. We will be also adding up Jumbotron dash fluid class to make the Jumbotron banner fluidly responsive. Let's see how does it look like. As you can see, Bootstrap Jumbotron class is a large banner like section with large text, light gray background, wrapped with a box that has a border radius in it. We will be adding more codes on our template as we're going to use Jumbotron class to create a parallax displacement effect later on via our custom.css file. So this includes some images and some more classes such as parallax class, size banner ID, 
the logo bootstrap and some background images and patterns nothing special here next for our about section we're going to create cards cards are new components in bootstrap for alpha it works as a container with light styles in replace with wells panels and thumbnails and supports a variety of style options such as alignment, colors, headings, and more. Before we create cards, let's add first some basic codes for our descriptions and headings first. These are just series of heading and text, nothing special here. Next, let's create cards. Simply add card and card-block classes to a div. For its title, Add card-title class and card-text for its regular text. We will also be adding card-img-top to the image of this card. Let's see this in our browser. Cool, we have a basic style for our cards. No worry about the design for now, we'll customize them later. Next for our features section, we will start with tooltips. In Bootstrap 4 Alpha, you need to add a third-party library called Tether. You can go to this website URL here to download tether.mean.js or tether.js. Or you can also use the CDN version by going to this URL and copying this link here. To use tooltips, simply include tether.mean.js link before the bootstrap.mean.js. Next, we need to create an anchor tag with the data toggle attribute for our title and then the title tooltip here will handle the popover. I added the codes that we need for this part. Finally, we need to add the following jQuery codes to enable the tether. Okay, let's see this in action. As you can see here, we have a pretty nice tooltips. The next feature that we're going to talk about is about the new prefix-inverse class that was added in Bootstrap for Alpha. To use this, you just need to add the class table-inverse on a table tag. I already have the codes here. Let's see this in action. As you can see, it inverts the color of the table itself. For our contact us section, we will use forms. Bootstrap for forms stack vertically by default but can be customized via CSS. To use Bootstrap's built-in design for forms, simply add the form control or form-control class on all of the field set, such as input tags and text area. You also need to organize each fields by wrapping them with a field set tag along with the form dash group class inside. Okay, I already have all of the codes we need here. Let's see this in action. As you can see, we have a good looking form here. Just the basic design of Bootstrap. So when I resize this browser, the form will stack vertically. We will be customizing this later on on our CSS. In Bootstrap for Alpha, Glippicons were dropped. Those reusable icons are no longer available for use. Good thing we can use Font Awesome CDN link to use icons. For our footer section, let's add the Font Awesome icon class. So with these codes here, it will look like this on our browser.
with all of the codes we've written so far, we have this design here. Now we just need to customize our bootstrap styles to make it look presentable. Open up custom.css and then let's start adding up the general styles for our body, header tags, images, and some classes such as mx-width, card img top, and so on. Next, we will set up some styles for our parallax effect. Using the class parallax and parallax-pattern-overlay as well as the size banner ID. Basically, we will set up a background size cover and we'll just give it a fixed position. We will also put a pattern image at the top of our banner. Next, we will be working on our heading class and its header tags. Basically, you want these headings to be in a maximum width of 960 pixels and place them at the center of the screen. The following codes then are just self-explanatory. And then we have our styles for our forms. First, we need to put a solid border and a padding to expand the form sizes a bit. We will also remove the border radius. For the rest of the styles, we will just put some backgrounds and then hide the done class. Afterwards, let's add some styles for our footer. We will set up a nice background color of light violet and give some styles for our footer text and icons using an unordered list. Nothing special here. As a final touch, let's customize the styles on 768 pixels viewport for our container column medium scale of 6 and column medium scales of 12 and give it a margin. We will also put some margins on our submit button. Having all of these codes, our Bootstrap for Alpha responsive template is now finished. If you want to learn more about Bootstrap 4, you can always refer to their documentation by visiting this URL here. Feel free to download the project file for this tutorial.